Hello and welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. Alon Paul here, and uh, doing something a little different. This is episode 5 of the normal playthrough. We're uh, continuing on the Artemis missions, and as you know, I have to do some more triangulation, uh, as it's begging me to do. Um, wanted to bring up a couple things. First of all, you might notice a little difference, I hope, in the video quality. I've went ahead and gone through some settings, and I realized that I can uh, really... Uh, crank it up just a little bit so this is going to be broadcast again in 1080p as usual but at 60 frames per second we're hoping that that helps out a lot of the video quality issues i may have been having in the past so we'll see what happens with this and hopefully it'll look a little better so we're going to have the pulse lines and everything like that as you know we're in orbital uh everybody's been getting used to that i am debating whether i'm going to create a ship for my character or not probably not for quite a while i'm going to be doing some trading out of ships i am going to be jumping into the anomaly at one point and changing my character appearance of course i'm going to grab some stuff out of just like any regular save like any save that i've got a whole bunch of stuff in the quicksilver um the only thing i'm not going to do in the quicksilver area is i'm not going to get things that are going to allow me an unfair advantage for instance i'm not going to get multi-tools or ships that I've acquired through expeditions or any of that. Um, I'm just going to get some cosmetic things that I can uh, acquire to change my appearance and get different jet trails and things like that. But multi-tools are out of the, the list, and so is uh, starships. I'm not going to get any ships, no multi-tools. So we're going to be just changing things up, and I'm going to continue as if this was a normal, ordinary save from a regular beginning standpoint, no cheating again, and let's continue on with the mission, shall we? And we're doing pretty good as far as money-wise is concerned. We got almost 10 million, so that's pretty good. We got some upgrades and stuff like that. Um, but we're holding off because our, uh, what do you call it, our exosuit is getting a little bit full, as you can see. We need to upgrade. So we're going to be doing some of that stuff, too. Let's go ahead and continue on with our mission. We're going to look for other things as well. I'd like to find myself um, some drop pods. So I'd really like to get my suit, uh, suit, suit, suit upgraded. I'd like to upgrade the suit, please. Uh, maybe not just cheddar soup, but maybe cheddar and broccoli. That sounds much better. Anyway, here we are. So we need to go to this particular location, and we're going to set up our next one. Oh, go figure. It's a drop pod. <laughs> eh, go figure. But, you know, finding a minor settlement will allow us to sometimes they sell... Drop pod locations, they're expensive, but sometimes they sell them, which is very much worth my time. So we'll probably look into that as well. All right, so um, let me see. What do I have? Do I have anything I can do? Let's see, We have a little bit of that. That's good. And we do need a carbon nanotube and an antimatter housing. So let's go ahead and get those. There we go. And we can upgrade. And we're definitely going to put it up above. There we go. So let's see. So we're going to put it up here someplace. Um, I know there's a, 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 what do you call it, a, a supercharged slot right here, and there should be one right here. Um, trying to debate whether I'm going to do that or not, because it's really way off. I might just work my way across. Let's just work my way across. That's fine. All right. So we've got another upgrade slot. So let's go ahead and uh, we can put more stuff in it, but I'm going to hold off doing that. Let's drop our signal booster down. Uh, triangulate. Done. Actually, this might be an opportunity to do locate nearby structures. No, nope. well, let me do it. Okay, well, worth a shot. And we already did that, too. All right, next place is on a completely different freaking planet. That's lovely. All right, well, no big deal. Before we leave, let's take a look around. You never know when you might some good, find some good stuff. Um, animals are always good because we want to get as many nanites as we can get, right? Um, oh, anomalous? One of one. Oh, yeah, that's a quick bonus of 250, so we'll go ahead and take that. Interesting. It's a nice looking planet, to be honest with you. What kind of, let me see. Irregular patrols, unusual, resources are moderate, thirsty clouds. Hmm, what are thirsty clouds? You know there's a dad joke coming. Does that mean they suck? Anyway, sorry. Couldn't help it. Um, let's see. Sacks. I don't really care about those. Gold deposit. Not really interested. And though, of course, can we use some gold? I don't know. Let me check my inventory real quick. Uh, we do have some gold. We got plenty of gold. We're all right there. All right, so we're not going to worry about that. 
Uh, let's see. I am going to take a quick look, look around because there is one thing we can get off this planet. Ooh, hello. Grab some oxygen. It's good to find that. Looking for... Question marks. I know that sounds weird. But sometimes you can find things. Like we can get silver here and gold. What else? Uh, copper. Copper, gold, and silver. Oh, three metals. Interesting. It's unusual. Oh, hello. No. We're mining, my friend. Mining only. Always good to grab this while we can. What, I walk a long distance or something? Oh, scanned all the animals? Yeah. Alright. Exaberries, which we don't really need. Uh, let's see. I'm not seeing anything. I'm going to take another jaunt this way. And over here. Because sometimes there's... Uh, not anomalous. That's not the word I'm looking for. Weird things that we can collect. And I thought there'd be a bunch here, but I don't see any, so... No, just not. And I don't need any pet anomalous animals right now. Organic objects is what those are. Okay. Like something like these, but uh, you can collect them and put them on your base. I get a kick out of that, too. Huh. That's weird. The output's changed. No, no. I think that's the same output. Okay. It's a weird output. I, I can't even describe it, you know, to you, but it's just one of those things that are part and are inherent to the game, and they, they have a secret message in them for those who are skilled enough at finding out. Which wouldn't be me. Alright. Whoops. First person. Hate when that happens. Alright, so let's go ahead and jump in our ship. And we'll move on. Is there anything else out here? No. There won't be a minor settlement here, so let's head over to the other planet, because the other planet should have one. So let's go to that location, and off we go. Alright, so triangulation's at 66%. Coming in for a landing. There we go. Okay. Let's just bring it down early, and we'll do a little scanning at the bottom here. Okay, what do we got here? We've got two locations. Shelters. That is one of those uh, satellite things that look for freighters on other worlds. And yeah, no one's interested in those. No. Not detecting anything just yet, except for the what's right in front of me. Alright, let's go ahead and land over here and see what this is. Ah, one of those satellite locations again. Alright. The door's on the other side. Okay. There we go. Anything over here for us? I need to adjust my keyboard or something because I keep hitting all the wrong buttons. Alright, let's see what we got. Battery, always helpful. And some nanites, of course. What did that last one give us? Hydrogen. A hydrogen jelly. Okay. Should be a door over here. Not that it really makes a difference. We don't really have to go inside. But it's always good to check out some resources. No, it's not. Get some sodium. 
Anites. See, we can get the radio transmission. Like I said, it's going to bring us to a freighter. It's not a bad idea. We can go ahead and do that because freighters have some good stuff at them. A standard, a terminal, watch a beacon from an unknown star endlessly play out. Beacon from an unknown star endlessly play itself out on the screen. Okay, the pattern seems clear, but what to enter? So it gives you numerals. Of course, it starts off 2738, 7382, and then 3827. So if you look closely, you'll see that the numbers are just basically shifting. So the 2 is just moving over to the end. So everything's shifting to the left, if you will. So 7382, and then it becomes 3827, and then the next one's obviously going to be 8273, which is our second choice. So let's go ahead and select that. And it gives us a pullback, which, you know, is handy because you look around and see if there's any of the structures nearby, but not in this case. Nice clear sky for us to look down through, though. All right, so that seems to be an ancient ruin is what it sends us to. Fascinating. So those things have some stuff that are worth some money. Um, anything else in here? No. And that's not a door. Uh, that's a door. <laughs> you guys really need to label your doors. Oh, I'm going to say. Hello. Did I discover all the animals on this planet? Yep. So we're good there. Alright, now there's some shelters over here. Some buried tech. So we'll go ahead and grab everything we can. Uh, we don't need viscous fluids. Uh, let's see. 28 nanites. Okay. Let's get our buried tech. There we go. One, two, and three. Good. Get some nanites from you. Another navigation data, and we'll get some credits. Oh, not bad. 1,800 credits. That's very nice. There shouldn't be anything over here. I think. Oh, another navigation data, at the very least. Oh, no, good. Gave me some nanites. And we can get some carbon for these plants. All right, I think we're done in here. And we'll take a quick look around because, well, you never know. Cargo drop, not interested. Oh, that's right, salvage containers, right? There's one really close by. Why don't we go ahead and check it out? There we go, and we're going to need to recharge our... Mining beam. Let's use condensed carbon. We got a lot more of that. And life support. Hmm. Uh, we'll use the dioxide. Okay. Alright. Let's get up here and see what we can find. Oh, getting locked up in there. Now there was a recent update. When I recorded this, there was a like a two gig update to No Man's Sky, so I don't know what's coming up. Today is middle of the week that I'm recording this, so if anything's going to happen, it's going to happen soon. Uh, let's see. Very manipulator. Now, if you're scared about being attacked while you're getting in here, what you can do is dig around the item. You know, try to expose as much, as much of it as possible for yourself. Make it easier. This one looks like it might be a good one. Yeah, it is a pretty good one there. And then what you can do, if you're afraid of getting attacked by anybody, you make yourself a little tunnel back in here, which should protect you a little better. See? So we're going to switch over to our mining beam. Actually, we go to the bolt caster and reload it. There we go. Oh, we got another case. Right over there back up and we'll take that salvage container. This should be a good one. Ooh, almost 3,000 years old. I think it's about one of the oldest ones I've ever gotten. How much is that worth? Cool. 1.3 mil. Definitely worth my time. So it looks like we have one, two of these guys out here. So a chance to get some good upgrades if we can do it. Hi guys. Good to see you. Now, if you shoot one, the other one will try to heal him. See? And then you have an opportunity to take them both out without any damage to yourself. Excellent. And you're done. 
Get a little extra ammo out of it. And some Atlantidium. Very nice. I like it. Okay, good deal. So, uh, let's head out of here. We had a couple more. There's one right there that's not far away, and one that's even closer. So we can pick up some extra money while we're here if we want. Now that we know what we're doing, right? It's always worth it. You know, I don't think we even placed down our uh, unit to do the triangulation. <laughs> that's okay. Oh, this one's in a very odd place. Hmm. Very odd place indeed. Okay, this one won't be worth as much. But, still worth it. So far, no attackers. Just one. I think. No? Two. There's two again. Whoops. Got the reload. Got him. Alright, we'll take it. And what we get? 238,000. More Atlanta DM, which is going to come in handy at some point, but not right now. And there should be one more. There it is. Right there. And that should be the last one, and then we'll head back to our ship and triangulate like we were supposed to. A little flexing there, just kind of stretching my arm, elbow, had a little kink in it, sorry. Wasn't really trying to punch anything like I was on the wrong button again. You didn't see anything. Alright. Okay, this one's partially exposed. So you know what, I'm just going to go ahead and take it out immediately. And nobody came. Okay. And that one's worth ever so slightly less than the other one. So still, good money. Let's head back, shall we? Let's see. Let's go ahead and recharge that guy. Let's recharge you first. I'll use a battery. Apparently I left all my ammonia on the ship. Okay. We'll use you. Okay. And then we're going to switch back over to our... Mining beam. Okay. Ooh. That's handy stuff. That way I don't have to actually mine... Not mine. Um, use my... Am I going the wrong way? Yeah, I am. My refiner to make more. I saw this on my radar, my glowing mineral, and I decided to get it because that can have some handy stuff every now and then. See, uranium, not bad. Always good to take a look, you never know, especially early game, and it's good to have the uranium and keep it. Now, some of these plants we can get, some we can't. Let's let, I'm not going to bother getting any plants right now. Head back down there, and we'll triangulate. There we go. All right. And triangulate. And now we have it. Okay. So now we get to head where we're heading next, Next, so I think we got everything from over here, right? Okay. Let's head up. Turn to space, contact Artemis in space. There we go. Give it a couple moments. There it is. When I first reached out to the heavens, I had no idea what to expect. The beauty, the mystery, the adventure, the danger. And here we are, aren't we? Go to a holo terminus, upload your data. Let's find each other.
Okay. So, we're going to scan. There's one right there. Here, the anomaly. How interesting. I think that's the one I started at originally. Okay, it's near the fungal planet. Did I find all the animals on there? I don't re remember. I guess we're going to find out in a minute here. That'll be good. Alright. And down we go. Alright, let's see what we got here. Yep, there it is. I think this is the same place I was at before. Pretty sure it, w it is. Okay. Take a look. Yep, fairly certain it is. Because everything looks like it was picked at. Like over here, it had the broke. It doesn't have any broken machinery and no buried tech, so I'm pretty sure I didn't have to worry about that. So let's head up. Will we make it to the top? Yes. Good, good, good. Got enough upgrades finally. Okay. Hollow terminus activated. Multiple signal sources available. Power post power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did all that. Activate. Oof, right through my head. <laughs> there she is. Have you triangulated your position? Let me know when you're ready to receive some data. Confirm. Excellent, we're really getting somewhere. Hold on, I'll just... Artemis transmits some data of their own. A star chart showing the skies around their location. I don't have any equipment. I don't know where I am. I don't even know how long I've been here. So, I've taken an old-fashioned approach. I've sketched the stars. You should find plenty of locals able to match our star patterns. My ship was nearby, so we can't be far apart. I'll patch my translator through so you can understand what they are saying. You'll need to calibrate it first, but that should only take a few words. Good luck, or maybe see you soon. Okay. New technology discovered. We need a microprocessor and 100 copper. Okay. Down we go. Where did my ship go? She's down here someplace. Guess it really doesn't make a difference. Just jump off. Whee! <laughs> Trick is to make sure you hit those uh, jetpacks just at the right time. I'll go ahead and get that. Health at maximum. Sodium nitrate. I'm going to check this because maybe it'll have a microprocessor. <laughs> Indeed. Indeed it does. Now, do we have anything in our ship? Pyrite, uranium. We do not have any copper. So we're going to need copper. Okay. This planet boasts copper. We got silver. And copper at 674. 247 seems like a winner to me. 194, even closer. Alright, we'll take it. Boink. Let's try that again. Alright, this might be a false location. Yeah, that's a terrible sight. We'll gather it, but... We'll keep it at medium. I'm not even going to bother trying to go lower, because it's it's a dirty, dirty one. As you can see, it's like laced with a lot of silicon. Alright, let's see what we got here. Okay, yeah, yeah, see how it's laced. You get a lot of silicate powder. You will get some copper out of this, but not a lot. You'll get a couple hundred. Probably about 300 maybe out of this. It's a large deposit itself, but we'll have to go to the other one to get more. Because I think we need a good amount of copper going forward. Here, let me make this a larger chunk. I just want to gather this up as quickly as possible. Whoa, okay. Try not to dig out from under your feet there. 
Minecraft rules. Never dig below you. Alright. Let's head out. There was one nearby, right? Right there. Now, I know we have a hundred, but I like I said, I want like a little bit more copper. Ah, good. This is a good deposit. Well, it's better. It's a better deposit. Let's see if it switches over to silicate as we get closer to this side, because I see a lot of pattern in it. Yeah, see? Also not a great deposit. Okay, I'm going to go up a size so we can clear this out a little quicker here. If you go to a smaller size setting, you can usually, especially on the deposits that are solid, without any silicate in them, you usually get a lot more copper that way, or any metal that you're trying to gather up. Substance, I guess? Mineral? How about mineral? Um... But when you have a deposit that's laced like it is, modeled with silicate powder, then really you're not getting a whole lot to it. So gather what you can. So this should we should end up with a good amount out of both of these deposits between the two of them. I'm not going to go for more after this. But we are going to get as much of this one as we can. I think that should do it. Except for maybe where I'm standing. If you're curious, just go to a different position and take a look. Yeah, it's not worth it. Okay. Alright, let's see how much we ended up with. 800, not bad. So now we can install this. I'm glad I left a spot open for it, right? And there we go. So we have the translator installed. Alright, let's head back to the ship. Okay, so it tells us uh, alien life forms speak a variety of languages, none of which are initially understandable. Learn their languages in order to communicate. Speak with aliens on planets and space stations that learn their dialect. Learn words from ancient ruins and historical sites. Install an auto translator in the exosuit to translate conversations. So that's what we've got. All right, good deal. Learning words. Go to school. Just kidding. All right, here we go. Not really. So, we need to hit the C button to scan for a local outpost. That's not the button. Outpost detected. Where at? That one. It actually went across the screen. That's pretty funny. Alright. Two hours from here. Okay, let's go out to space and check it. Maybe it'll be a minor settlement. That'll be kind of nice. But normally, it is... Whoop, hello. Where'd you go? disappeared. Oh, bring news of not of, of Artemis to... Okay, yeah, let's do that real quick. So it switched real quick, because it wants you to bring news of Artemis to Nada. And that's a good thing. Because every time you go there, he gives you more Quicksilver. And while we're here, we'll change our appearance. Sooner or later, we're going to have to go back to our base, so that'll be happening once we meet uh, Apollo. And we'll be building. Okay, there we go. So let's talk to them first, and then we'll hit the terminal over there. Now, as you can see, we are in still multiplayer mode. Uh, tell Nada about Artemis. Uh, Artemis' friend wishes to meet other travelers, but they have... It seems Artemis' friend has forgotten Nada. Curious. It is good to help this entity, traveler friend, but Nada advises caution. Ask who Artemis is. Artemis' entity was, is, a traveler entity, one like you. Nada has made, had made them safe. They are known to Nada. This entity may be Artemis' entity, but a different iteration. Another way for Artemis' entity to be. Or fraud. The universe does not like our little home. We do not acknowledge their rules, and they would punish us. Okay. So you see we got 80 nanites. Quicksilver, 150. 
Oh, very nice. So let's talk to Polo. Nada friend guides lost anomalies to our home. Makes them safe from Crimson Hunter. Nada is a great friend indeed. Ask him about Artemis. Perhaps Artemis' friend has forgotten us. That would be sad. Or, I will think that Artemis' friend has traveled somewhere when they have not met us yet. Okay, yeah, he's kind of a positive thinker there. Optimist, if you will. All right, let's get fixed up here. So, first thing I'm going to do, uh, create exotic items, which we don't really have a lot of quicksilver yet. We got 1950 because we did our anomaly mission. But, what we're going to look at is, I'm going to scroll through here and look for appearances. That's what I want. Uh, what do I want my jetpack to look like? I am not really keen on the pyrotechnic. That's just a bit much. I like the plasma or the fusion. I'm thinking... Let's go fusion. I'm going to do that one. Now, we can go with the geometric cape. That's kind of nice. Uh, I might skip the capes. I like capes. Don't get me wrong. I really love this one a lot. But we're going to skip that. Uh, let's see here. We can get titles. There's our multi-tools, which we're going to ignore. Uh, let's see here. Starship trails. Figurines are handy to put on your ship, but I'm not going to worry about that just yet. They do give me an unfair advantage, so I probably won't. Uh, let's see. Backpack. We can get all of them. That's very interesting. Uh, let's see. Polo, blah, blah, blah. Jetpack trail. Never was keen on these two. That's why I never got them. Uh, let's see. We've got iterations for facial... Uh, I'm going to hold off on that, too, I think. Oh, here. Let's go with the armors. Armored, 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 and armored. Should we go first spawn battle mask? Or one of these three? You know what? I think I'm going to skip those. And let's go on to the... Let's see. Expedition rewards. Let's try that one. Again, we're not going to go for the ships. We can get them, but, we, but we're not going to. I like the Atlas flight pack. A lot. So I will get that. Uh, the Atlas Head Shield? Definitely. Mm -hmm. I think that's going to be it. Should we go with... Oh, okay, that's just decoration. Onion accessory, yeah, great. Oh, the electric jetpack trail, that's pretty cool. Okay, so here we have unlockable heads. We've already got one we're going to use. I think I'm going to hold off on the construct items. Wayfarer's Helm was pretty cool, too, but I'll hold off on that, too. The Discordant Trail. Hmm. I'll get that just in case. Again, another ship. We're going to ignore it. Fearsome Visor is always pretty cool. All right. I think that's going to be enough for me. Ooh, Temporal. I do like that a lot. Uh, let's see. I think that's probably going to be it for me. There is the exotic wind pack. I can get the sputtering starship trail. Reality glitch is always pretty cool. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's always... I always like the streamlined one, too. That's always a nice one to get. And, of course, we got the golden. If we want that. All right, so that should take care of that. And I don't think there's anything else. I'm going to go one more time in and go look at the Twitch rewards. And I don't think there's anything in here I'm really going to get. Uh, let's see. I've gotten a lot of Twitch rewards over the years. To do. There's that reality glitch again, the exotic. Again, got plenty of stuff that you can get out of here that I'm going to hold off getting. Nice ships, not going to happen. No pets. We're going to get a pet, we're going to get it the right way. Alright, I think we're done. I don't think there's anything more in here we really want. Okay. Here in, huh? Nice. Alright, yeah, we're done. Let's go ahead and change my view or my 
character a little bit. I know some people like to choose a race like the Gek or the Corvax or something like that, but I'm going to stick to this. We're going to go with the full-size body shape. We're going to go with the... There it is, Hatless Head Shield. Hmm, nice. I'll add some profile markings. Oh, that looks pretty neat. Let me see what these look like real quick. All right, definitely I think I'm going to go with number four. It's just something about that looks really, really cool. So my colors I usually like to go with are usually purple, dark blue, and then going with a bright yellow. So the bright yellow is the light on, this, on, on these helms. So I'm going to hold off on that. What I'm probably going to do is I'll stick to yellow here, and then we'll go with just the blue light instead. So it's got a purple with yellow, is what's going on here. I still see some blue in there too, that's pretty good. I do like that. Alright, Torso. We're going with the armored chest piece. We're going to add accents. Purple, blue, yellow. Alright, doesn't look too bad. Go with that. So that's the torso. Armor. Armored shoulder pads we'll add in. They always look huge on this guy. Alright, so again, purple, and we're just going to go with blue, I think. Should I switch that around? I think I might switch it around. Yeah, I like that. Let's go with that. Gloves. Armored. Purple. Blue. And yellow highlights. And we may switch some colors around. Uh, let's see. Legs. Armored. Highlighted. Purple, blue, bright yellow on the highlights. That's interesting. Oh, I chose pink by accent. That's why. <laughs> yeah, that looks pretty good. Boots. Purple, blue, yellow. Can't really see the yellow highlights, but they're on there. And finally, the backpack, which we know we're going to automatically choose. First of all, Fusion Trail. The Atlas Flight Pack. There it is. Uh, stripes. Yeah, I do like that better. All right, purple, blue. And it's got the yellow light on the back. So what we're going to do is we're going to change it up a little bit here. Yellow, blue. Looks pretty sharp. I might change the purple and the blue around. Let me just see what that looks like. Hmm, not seeing much of a change, to be honest with you. It just goes to a bluer look to it. So, we'll stick to that purple, and we'll stick to that blue then. Alright, looks good. Banner! We're just going to stick with this. I'm not going to give myself any titles for now, but we're going to change the color, obviously. Uh, we're just going to go purple-blue. There we go. That looks pretty good. And we'll keep it as S-Class. We'll get other stuff as we go. Alright. We're keeping it. That's my new look. And jetpack trail. Nice. I like it. Alright, nothing more to do here. Let's go ahead and move on. We can turn in some stuff to them and get some more nanites. Let's go ahead and try doing that. Let's see what happens here. Because we've discovered quite a bit since we saw them last. I think. Uh, we're going to give them minerals. Alright, what does he give us? Okay, Helios gave us 15 whopping nanites. Ooh, big spent. Ares, what do you got for me, my friend? Uh, transmit milestone. And what did he give me? Only 1,350 nanites. See, you're cheap. He's not. So there. Ah, oh, good old classic living ship. Some of you haven't seen any of those. That's what they look like. So there you go. And whose ship is this? I don't know if we can get... Oh, it's already gone. Hey, he must have just logged out. <laughs> Alright, well, too bad. All right, we got a Sentinel ship over there. Now, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to hold off trying to get Sentinel ships. We're not going to do that. I do want to check something while we're here. Remember I said about that update? Today being Wednesday, I'm going to check over here and just see if this thing's changed in any way. Interesting. It has changed. No active expedition. A new expedition will begin soon. 
This terminus will allow any traveler to start a community expedition. Each expedition is a unique journey with exclusive rewards. You'll be alerted when a new expedition is available. Okay. That's a little new. And since they just had a big update, makes you wonder. It does make you wonder indeed. Okay. Off we go. So we have that done. Let's go back into our log and make sure we have the correct... There we go. We have our mission selected. So we need to speak to alien life forms. So let's exit the anomaly and we're going to head back to the surface and look for our location again, which should show up here soon. There it is, over there. Okay. Let's line up with it and hit our pulse drive. Another planet again course because the planet we were on won't have any uh, places to land or anything like that so nothing but abandoned structures I guess all right so alien life our approximate locations so we're gonna come in a little bit sooner we may scan we could scan now I just want to get a little closer it's just what I like to do let everything procedurally generate ah okay Looks like the building is very close to where the quote-unquote approximate location is. What do we got? Okay, just a str Oh, it is a minor settlement. Excellent. We're going to be checking out the terminal in this, see if we can find some drop pod locations. Which I won't do... I won't uh, curse you all with having to watch me get drop pods. I'll do that off camera. Alright. Hello and welcome. Uh, wrong button again. All right, so we got some sodium. Let's get some nanites. Dense carbon. Looks like we've got a couple encrypted datas over here. Which gave us some nanites. And, of course, it gave us a bunch of nanites. Almost 100 of them. That's good. What's this weapon? B-class. Looks like two supercharged slots on it. Nothing special. It does have a paralysis mortar on it, which is handy. Uh, how much does it run? We can buy it for 100, only 143,000. We have a, as you know, we have a really nice tool here, which already has paralysis mortar on it. So that really isn't necessary. So I'm not going to get it. We still have that one unit to get. Quad servo? Oh yeah, we got to fight a couple more guys to get that opened up. All right. We'll do that later. Ah. Let's see what they got for me. All right, dust, cobalt. Got microprocessors, only got a, got a few of those. Salt. Okay, no drop pod data. All right, let's check the guy behind the uh, glass over there. Technology merchant. So we're going to check his inventory first for purchasables, purchasable components. Salvage data, but he doesn't have any drop pod data. Oh, wait, exosuit upgrade charts. That's right. He's got two of those, so I'll grab them both. They're expensive, but worth it because I need to upgrade. All right, what else we got here? Anything I need. Salvage data is always good, but it's expensive. Wiring looms are always a good thing to get. I'll go ahead and grab all four. Spending quite a bit here. Grab a couple more microprocessors. One, yeah, let's grab both. All right, that should do for now. All right, so we have two of those. We do need to start dropping things off sooner or later, right? Oh, we can sell some stuff. I forgot. Will he buy it? I don't know. Yeah, good. Uh, let's see. Keeping the hard frame engines for now. Here we go. Ooh, plus 2%. Excellent. There we go. There we go. Got some good money. I'm going to keep the uranium for now. All right. We're up to 11 million now. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right. So we're in pretty good shape. Now, we need to talk to people here. So, probably... The guy I need to talk to is the one that just probably stepped outside. He's outside the side door. You. I need to talk to him. Alright, don't understand a thing, but Corvax and Studies. We're going to request dialect help. Uh, the operations entity, Kinney Agile. 
flashes their lights, their mind in direct communion with my own. They teach me a word of their language. My brain feels refreshed. As I turn to leave, Operation Sentity, Kinney Agile whistles a sharp tune. They must have appreciated my interest in their history, as they hand me a chart with directions to an ancient relic. Oh, it's not nice. Okay, good. That's really, really good. I didn't know that would happen. All right, so we're not worried about that. Let's go back to there. And it looks like we've trans... Okay, we got one translation, so now we got to look for another place. Okay. Is there anything over here, by the way? Besides that stuff over there, not really worried about that. Always take a look around, because you never know when you might find something that's worthwhile. See, this is the place that has the salvage containers. But I'm not going to get any of those this time. We did last time. Enough boredom. Okay, so we got to scan one more time. Hmm. Okay. Okay, explore to locate ruins. Oh, oh, oh right, 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 right. I got to use that chart that they gave me. That's my bad. Okay, so this chart right here. Well, of course, it's the other way. That's pretty neat the way it does that now. So that way you're not getting lost as to where it might have popped up. Whoa, easy. All right. Lock in. On our way. So the reason why we're going here is because it will have some of those communication, uh, what do you call it, those little pylons there that will teach you words. So that's what we're looking for here. Coming in for a landing. Alright, let's see what we got. There it is, there it is. Now, it doesn't always have the pylons. In this case, we're going to actually learn it from the ancient plaque itself. And out we go. I'm going to take some condensed carbon while we're here. Alright, that looks good. Whoop. Missed one. Okay. Alright, let's see what we got. Ah, the ancient marker hums at a frequency that burrows deep into my being, filling me with the voices of the Corvax echoes. Knowledge paves the way to the understanding of probability. The atlas spoke in fragments. The atlas interfaces are their shadows. The monoliths are their scattered children. Together, they convey the wisdom, wisdom of the infinite. They must be understood. So we're going to seek help with language. That's what we're supposed to be doing. We could do knowledge of the past and find some buried ancient tech, ancient tech, but we're not going to. We've got to do the language. My knowledge of the Corvax convergence increases. Did you learn the Corvax word, the, I think it said? Great. So we've calibrated 66%. We have to learn words from a knowledge stone. So let's take a look around. So you look for knowledge stones. Knowledge stones are not that. It's definitely not that. Keep looking around, looking around. There's one right there. So we're looking for those. Well, that's because it's right here. Let's look for another one. I'm not finding any. All right. Let's go to the top of the hill here and take a look around. Hmm. Another place to discover things from. That's fantastic. Looks like we've got another building right over there. I think we should head in that direction. We can always call our ship in. Let's see. Yeah, we're okay. Head that way. Because we don't know what that building is. Oh, what do you know? Right in front of us, you think I would have seen this. Broken technology. Damaged machinery here. Let's just check to see what it's got. Usually there's some buried tech nearby. Yeah, get some nanites from it. Yeah, there is. Right here. And can we pick it up? No? Alright. We will just dig it out. There we go. You can always use more of that. Alright, 
where's our building at? It's over that way. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we got some more broken machinery right over here. Let's go ahead and take advantage of it. Let's we'll go ahead and take this one out since we're right here. Okay, broken machinery. As you never know, they might give you an upgrade. Salvage data four out of the other one. That was pretty good. Another damaged machinery. Okay. Okay, good. And where is our building? Because I got myself turned around. Right there. Okay. And what do we got? It's probably a scanner. No, it's a trade ball. Okay. And while we're here, I bet you we passed a bunch on the way. Another unknown building over there. We can do some running around. I don't mind. Not finding any knowledge stones, strangely enough. That's really weird. Usually they're a little more prolific across planet surfaces. But, you know, you know, it is what it is. Let's go ahead and check out the trade ball. You never know what it might have. Ah, uh, first of all, anything to sell? Don't think we do. Good amount of salvage data, though. We're doing pretty good on that. Yep, okay, what do you got to buy? Uh, ferret dust, cobalt, navigation data, platinum, dioxide. Eh, nothing special. Alright. Off we go. I'm not going to bother with that. Where was the other place that I was heading? Oh, looks like we got an oxygen patch right up there. Nice. I'll take it. Take advantage of those oxygen patches when you can get them, my friend. Damage machinery. Do it. Early game. How's it grab this stuff? More nanites. Okay, this guy looks like he's really close to the surface. There he is. Technology. Two that time. Nothing special. That's okay. Go ahead and add a battery to my shield. Alright. Whoa. Alright, so what we got here is we got ourselves a settlement. I'll be darned. So... Probably not going to go down there. What an unfortunate place to have a settlement, isn't it? Alright, we're looking for knowledge stones. We got another unknown building right over there. And again, I'm not finding any knowledge stones, so we're going to really have to call our ship in as we keep looking. Oh, that was close, right? Do your visor every now and then so you can take a look around. Okay, looks like we got a couple buildings. That is a holographic comms tower. There we go. And still don't see any knowledge stones. This is really weird. I usually find knowledge stones pretty easily. So I don't know really what's going on here. Other than it's being recalcitrant, but that's okay. Ah, drop pod. Go figure, right? I think it's time to pull our ship in and we'll take another look around. Unless I can find a drop pot, not a drop pot, a uh, knowledge stone right here. Which I do not. Okay, pull the ship in. Alright, as usual. Uh, let's see, one and two. So an antimatter capsule and the carbon nanotube. Get our next update. And again, we're going to put it up here. That should give us our supercharged slot. There it is. 
which for our sake I think we're gonna what we're gonna do is uh let's see we can uh, shovel some shove some stuff around here. There. I'll do that and we'll put Artemis translator unit over there. Okay. So we got an extra spot up at the top here, about the fourth from the right uh, from the left. Alright, exosuit upgrade charts we're gonna put in our ship. And I think we're gonna put our salvage data in the ship too. Okay. Shall we continue? Let's do that, but let's go over here and pick up some supplies, because there's a lot of nice boxes over here that we can gather stuff out of. Maybe we'll get another microchip or micro processor. There we did, we did. Did I just get another one? I think I just got a second one. Oh, unbelievable. That's cool. Alright. So we're done here. Let's go take a look around because uh, we'll use our ship this time and see if we can't find one because we're taking too long finding. And our episode is just about over. So let's just head this way. And watch our radar at the top. See, you see plants... other items underground. But usually you can see them sticking up out of the ground as well. We'll go ahead and scan anyway, because you never know. It's not going to find a knowledge stone, but... Who knows, maybe we'll find a uh, ancient monolith, which has three of them. Oh, wait. I think we just found one. Um, oh, there it is. Knew it was here someplace. So that's what we want. And while we're here, let's just take a quick look around and see if there was something else to see. So who knows? Maybe we'll find a grave or something like that. No, I don't see anything. Except another unknown building behind me. Alright, let's get our last word. Okay, learn the word two. Always like to check out these unknown buildings because you never know. They could be something to search for or like I just found another drop pod. Another carbon nanotube, another antimatter housing. And one more suit upgrade. Okay. So, we can put it up here. Let's do that. I want to complete it up to this spot here, and then we can go along the bottom there. Once we have that all filled out in that area, then I'll start putting more cargo in. All right. Bring our ship in. Beautiful, beautiful. So I think all in all this was pretty good. So we we're calibrated. We need to find a life form to trans to, to see about our location. Let's go ahead and do that. Hit the C button again. Large outpost detected. That way. That is pretty neat the way it does that now. I like that a lot. That's going to help you uh, newer folks who are playing on how to find the location it's telling you to go rather than just looking around aimlessly to see if you can find it yourself. Potential assistance, it labels it as. Okay, approximate location, so let's come in a little bit early. Scan, there it is. There we go. Oh. Almost didn't register me hitting my landing button as you might hear me frantically tapping away. 
Got a lot of good stuff laying over here, so go ahead and pick up what you can. You know, these crates and damaged containers and stuff like that. Oxygen. Some relics, that's nice. Got ships landing all over the place. Maybe there's a nicer ship, who knows. Let's check the terminal first. Uh, nothing special. Got some ionized cobalt in there. We'll talk to these guys in just a second. Let me take a look at the ships. Shuttles, mostly in Explorer class. And that one hauler. Okay. Let's talk to this guy. Now, he's going to want us to do something. Insignificance. Ew. Insignificance does not register with the convergence. Of interest, but not of worth. Through the garble of Artemis Translator, it's clear that I am yet to make an impact among the Corvax. I need to improve my reputation rate. So that is going to be our next mission. We need to improve our reputation. So raise your standing with the Corvax by two. Raise standing at the mission boards on space stations. All missions performed at the mission board will raise your standing. Access the guide to learn about standing. So we can learn more if we want. We already know about it, so we're not going to do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and call it here, and we'll be raising our standing on the next episode. What you might see is a difference is I may uh, be upgrading my exosuit a little bit more, so I'll put some more storage spots in here. I will only do, as you are more than aware, the two that you saw that I put in my other. The two that I saw here. So I'm going to do two more slots right now, and if I can find more, I will. And we'll go from there. All right, guys, so we're going to call it here. I want to thank you very much for watching. And we will see you in the next episode. Take care, everybody. Please hit that like and subscribe. Thank you. Take care.